Oh, hi. 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 Am I late? Mm -mm. The moderator hasn't joined yet. How are you? Doing okay. Work seems to be wrapping up. Hopefully I'll be able to come home in a week, maybe two. Oh, good. <laughs> I haven't booked my flight yet. I'll let you know when I book it. Right. Of course. It'll be good to have you home. So glad we're able to do this online. Yeah, you know, I think everybody's doing them online now. I kind of like that better. That way you don't have to take off, drive into an office. Oh, come on, find parking, wait in line. Ugh. Way easier. Definitely. It's gotta be a rubber stamp, right? Check a few boxes, get a few signatures. Don't need to have an in-person meeting for that. Yeah. I hope this doesn't take long. Hello, hello, can everybody hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, my name is Leslie Williams. I'll be conducting your Hi, interview. Leslie. Hi, I'll be conducting your interview for your marriage license renewal. Thank you. Are the two of you calling from the same location? Uh, no, he's on the West Coast for a business trip. Oh, got it. What time is it there? You're two hours ahead. Oh, well, wow. Thank you so much for getting up early to meet with us. No problem. Okay, now before we get started, can I have you verify your name and the last four digits of your social security number to confirm your identity? Sure, yeah. Brad Michaels, 3828. Okay, thank you. And I'm Cecily Michaels, 1918. Okay, your maiden name was? Stuart, S-T-E-W. Very good, thank you. Okay, first off, I wanna say congratulations on being married for eight years. I know it seems like such a little amount of time, but believe me, most people don't even make it that long. Yeah, it just flew by. I remember when I saw that our license lasted until 2029, I was like, that's so far into the future, but I blinked and well, here we are. Okay, everything here seems to be in order. I have the prenup you filed when you got married. I still can't believe we had to sign that. I knew we wouldn't need it. I feel like that's just a government racket that benefited lawyers. Looks like you used the standard format that was provided by the government. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna line the pockets of some fat cats. Okay, and I have the questionnaire you both filled out. You two living together? Yes. Yes, when I'm not traveling for business. No children in the relationship? No. Okay, children by other partners? No. Uh-uh. Hey. Remember when people used to renew their marriage vows? You mean like we're doing? No, no, I mean not the license, the wedding vows. And they did it to like be romantic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, do you think anybody does that anymore? It just kind of seems like it'd be easier than this, you know? I guess it's silly. Okay, do you own a home? We rent. Okay. Um, thank you. I take it you're employed, Mr. Michaels, since you're on a business trip? Yes. And you, Ms. Michaels? Yes, I work too. Okay. Do you file your taxes jointly? Yes, we do. Under her name, she makes more. Okay. <laughs> you know, this whole thing is stupid. Ms. Right. Mr. Michaels? No, I'm just saying, I don't see why we can't get a forever license anymore. Oh, well, it provides an out for people who need it. it. It offers some protection to those who might not be able to get a divorce and are in a dangerous situation. Yeah, but it's just more paperwork for the rest of us. Oh, not everyone. My husband and I opted to change our forever marriage license to the renewal type, and I gotta tell you, it really helped our marriage. It did? How so? Oh, well, it, it made us appreciate each other a little more. We had to really work to maintain our relationship. You know, once you sign the forever license, that's it. But with the eight year, you gotta think about the future. You have to earn it. You have to work hard every single day. Huh, well, guess I never thought of it like that. Well, that's why we did this, not to make things harder, but rather to change how people think about it. Maybe they'll be more proactive and deliberate rather than taking things for granted. Yeah, and some people just aren't in the position to file for divorce, um, maybe because of money or an abusive husband. Wait, why does it have to be the husband? Come on, how many stories have you heard about a wife abusing her husband? It happens. Yeah, but it's really rare. But it happens. Okay, fine. An abusive partner then. Thank you. Okay, now based on the answers to the questionnaire, I am putting your renewal on a probationary year-to-year -year status. Wait, what? What does that mean? 
oh, well, rather than the eight year renewal term, you'll have to check back with us in 12 months and we recommend counseling. Wait, what are, what are you saying about our marriage? There's no judgment. I'm simply responding to the answers you provided. But how can you say that? You don't know anything about us. Brad? I'm simply going by your wife's answers on her assessment. But you don't know anything about us. What are you? What? I, look, I meant to talk to you about this, Brad. I just, we haven't had the chance. What, wait, you want to leave me? No, that's not it at all. You don't believe in our marriage. I do. Of course I do. Or else I would have chosen not to renew at all. Then what? Look, you're just, you're gone all the time. And when you're here, you're really distant. Um, okay. We've obviously entered into an awkward situation here. Um, Mr. Michaels, I understand you've been caught by surprise. Tell on me. But I'm sorry, Brad. We don't recommend the process starting like this, but we need to get through this call so the two of you can figure out what comes next. Yeah, what comes next? Well, that's for the two of you to figure out. On the state's end, here's what will happen. You'll have to file for renewal in 12 months. 90 days before your license expires, you'll be contacted to set up a new appointment and you'll be provided with new questionnaires. Now, the questionnaires will be longer since you've been placed on probation. It's also recommended that you seek couples counseling. I don't need counseling. Really? Well, the fact that you weren't even aware that you were entering into this process, it would be a good idea if the two of you worked on your communication and bringing in a professional can help facilitate that process. I'm so sorry, Brad. Oh, also, we recommend that you restructure your prenuptial agreement. I... Again, this is not a reflection of the state of your marriage, but if the worst should happen and you let your marriage expire in 12 months, you will have already started out thinking, you know, how you really want to divide up your lives. You can take it all. I don't care. Brad, I don't want your stuff. Either way, those are our recommendations. Now, I'm going to need your digital signatures here so we can conclude the meeting. What if I don't agree with your findings? Well, then you just check the box that says you disagree with this decision, but the signature is required to validate this meeting or we cannot renew the license at all. Now, can I send you a link to your phone so you can digitally sign? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you should receive that momentarily. Okay, now before we end the call, do you have any questions? Does anybody actually get to renew for the full eight year term? Unfortunately, this is a new process and there's just not a lot of data yet. Right, but you know, in your experience, do you see any trends? I would say more people go into the probation process than you would think. Hmm, I see. I would also say that the vast majority of those who go through the probation process end up signing the eight-year renewal the next year. I would have thought they get divorced. Oh, some do, but I think most people, if they make a commitment to each other, really wanna see it through. If they put in the work, they get the results. Well, okay. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. This was a particularly difficult call, but I thank you for your patience and working through this with me. You are set for the next year, and I sincerely wish you two the best of luck going forward. The state has concluded its business. Brad.